We certainly live in a beautiful country. Now let's get back to the future with Lisa Barrow and all the latest motor news. The big news this week focuses on 1998 models from Lincoln Mercury, Jeep, and Nissan. All three were introduced at this year's New York International Auto Show, with the 1998 Lincoln Town Car leading the charge. Almost all new, the latest town car presents a radically different face to the world. With more youthful styling, it looks bigger and bolder than ever before, but it's actually almost four inches shorter than its predecessor. But just as powerful, its 4.6 liter single overhead cam V8 engine makes 200 horsepower and 220 horsepower when a beefed up touring option is selected. The 98 town car interior is also completely new. It offers the kind of spacious luxury that Lincoln buyers are accustomed to with a strong dose of modern ergonomics. While the entire package rides on a more rigid frame and new Watts linkage rear suspension for better ride and handling. Expect the new town car to carry a base price of about $38,000 when it arrives in dealer showrooms at the end of this year. Jeep's Grand Cherokee also gets a big change for 98, but this one is hidden from view. It's under the hood of the appropriately named Grand Cherokee 5.9 Limited, where the 5.9 liter V8 from the Dodge Ram makes 245 horsepower and 335 pound-feet of torque. This should make the 5.9 Limited the quickest sport ute available, with a claimed 0 to 60 time of 7.3 seconds, and the most expensive Jeep ever, with its powerful drivetrain and full load of luxury features pushing the base price to nearly $40,000. Expect to see it this fall. Another fall debut will be Nissan's Frontier Compact Pickup. All new and with more aggressive styling, it will be powered by Nissan's revised 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine. A 3.3-liter V6 will arrive a year later. The Frontier boasts the largest standard cargo bed in its class and will be available in both two- and four-wheel drive models. Nissan has not yet confirmed pricing for the Frontier, but company officials expect a very aggressive sticker to revive sluggish compact pickup sales. And that's it for this week's Motor News. Thank you.